Hello there gentle people. Thank you for joining me for another video. In the last one, I was sharing with you guys the frustrations that I had basically finding a planner to put all my systems in place. And I just decided to use a bullet journal or a modified version of the bullet journal. And just to give you a little bit of backstory, a bullet journal is a system that was developed by this guy named Ryder Carroll. And he's from Brooklyn and he's a digital product designer. And and it's basically an analog planning system so you are writing your stuff down it is not digital and it's funny because he's a digital product designer but he still needs this very analog method of planning and you know having all his systems in place and I totally appreciate it because I am very much into technology but at the same time I love my pen and paper if I don't write it down in some kind of way it just it doesn't stick in my brain and when I think back when I was a kid when I was like growing up in high school all throughout college all my planning everything took place in an actual physical planner so again it's an analog system called a bullet journal and I showed you guys how I wrapped these books as well and Initially, I had planned for my planner to be in one of these big books and after a while I was like, eh, so I did a smaller journal. So I scratched the big one. I think that I'll probably use these to do like collages or something. I've been thinking about doing um, like a daily collage on a regular basis. So that will probably happen. Pretty much all you need for a bullet journal is a journal and a pen. And if you look up bullet journal on YouTube, you'll see a ton of people doing like these amazing things. And they have all kinds of decorations and drawings and calligraphy and all type of stuff. And I love it. I appreciate it. I think it's really cool. And I've gotten a lot of ideas from them. At the same time, I don't have that much time to do all kind of crazy fanciness. So again, I have my journal. These pens, I love these pens. They're Statler pens. They're from Germany. And you can get them at any craft store. This is what I use kind of for highlighting. And then the main writing takes place with, I like the number three. They come in different sizes, the 0 0.1, 0 0.5, and 0 0.7. I like the 0 0.3 because I find that tip is just like a nice blend between medium and fine point. Let's get into the bullet journal. I should put something here, right? Something nice. The For the first page, and remember, this is a work in progress, so I'm not completely done yet. And I have a desk calendar thingy. And every day when I peel off a new day, I basically save the picture that came with it. And I kind of stick it somewhere. So I think I'm going to glue that in there. The first thing in the bullet planner is your index, all right? And the index basically aligns with your page numbers because everything is basically for you to keep track of. How do you come back to your page number? How do you find it? Everything is going to be in your index. And you need two pages for your index. I figure that I'm going to get through this journal very quickly before, you know, a couple of months. It might last me through the quarter. Haven't decided what I'm going to put here yet. What I see a lot of people doing is putting like a big word or something inspiring or motivational. I left that space blank because I'm not too sure. I put a year calendar in there and a lot of people do this by hand but I didn't have time for that so I just cut it out of the day planner I have on my desk and just stuck it in there. And... In the original planner system, Ryder Carroll has all the, the months of the year pretty much on two pages. But what I decided to do was break mine up in quarters because that is how I plan. So I have January, February, March. I have my first quarter. And these are just the things that I have in mind to do on 
in January, in February, and in March. And I have another, like, I have a, this calendar obsession, right? So I have another little calendar that I had just cut the picture out of. So that's a little, it's a little uh, tropical calendar. So that's a little picture for January. So I just stuck that there. And then on this page, I put my goals and ideas for the first quarter. So these are the things I know definitely are going to happen pretty much and then these are just the things that you know it would be nice if these things occur in the first quarter and that's just basically the plan for the next couple of pages second quarter of the year with goals and ideas third quarter of the year with goals and ideas and the fourth quarter and if you notice i don't really <laughs> i don't have too much planned it just kind of you build it as you go along which is the beauty of it it's not set in stone and then i got this idea from a woman who goes by boho berry i think her name is carl she has a very good website on with some sections on bullet planning where she really gets into the detail of it and and your first thing is to put in like obviously the first month of the year right which is January and you basically line out the whole of the days for that particular month and I put all day morning and evening again that's the idea that I got from boho berry so things that are gonna be happening all day things that need to happen in the morning things that need to happen in the evening and then I have the goals that I'm trying to accomplish just for the month of January and I also got this idea from boho berry as well I put a little calendar for February here just so I can kind of have something to refer to in case I need to think about February as well here this page is going to be January memories and you know maybe as I'm going through January I'll kind of throw stuff in there if not at the end of the month I'll kind of think back to you know what were some of the highlights of the month and pretty much add that here I got this idea from her as well from Boho Berry and she references all the original people that she got the idea from I'm just pretty much referencing her because that's where the bulk of the ideas that I got came from but in her blog and on her website she references the original um, places where she got the ideas from the waiting on these are the things that I've ordered and I'm waiting on them and I like this because normally when I get stuff on Amazon I'm always like looking at the orders place to say like what did I order again what did I order again and this is cool because everything is just right here when it comes I can check it off and keep it moving these two pages here in her bullet journal boho berry has this thing called like a level 10 life where she pretty much has this huge circular thing and it indicates all the different aspects of her life that she wants to work on and i know i don't want mine to be exactly like that because for me it's like seven different things and i've always had seven different things that i try to work on every year like these different aspects of my life in terms of professional development in terms of career you know health and fitness all these different things and I need to come up with my own kind of system so that's why I saved that space right here and in January I put books to read and books to listen to because they're actual physical books I need to read and then I also have stuff that I have on audible that I would like to get through in January as well and I haven't written them down here yet because I need to actually pull up the bloody app on the phone and make sure I write these down and as I read these books I'll just check them off as I go and I know this looks kind of crazy in terms of you know are you going to get through all of these books in January but trust and believe people I will I am a ridiculously bibliophilic <laughs> kind of person I absolutely love to read and before I went to law school I taught myself how to speed read so I can get through them very quickly 
This page is something that I decided to add for myself. It's a tech page, pretty much. And these are websites that I want to check out, any apps that I want to check out, any software and platforms, and then any ideas. I'm always coming up with these ideas that I would like to see in an app. And I usually just, you know, stick them in a notebook somewhere. So that's what this page here is for me. Any kind of technology. I really consider myself an early adopter. If there's anything that I find out about, that I read about, that I want to do some more research on as far as technology, that is going to go on this page. Personal development. These are the workshops and the podcasts, the webinars, the classes that I want to attend and complete. And the first one coming up, there's this Art of Teaching Art workshop that I'm going to be going to this week. And any, I've listened to a bunch of podcasts this past weekend, so I need to make sure I make a note of that. I haven't done any webinars since the year started and classes. That includes even things that I do on places like Creative Live and Skillshare and Creative Bug. I'm going to make sure to include those there as well. This is my art supply wish list and I've been sticking little pieces of watercolor paper in the bullet journal just in case I get some inspiration. I've used these journals before and I know that they're not too bad with taking wet media. I got this journal from Michaels but I don't necessarily want to take the chance of making the page buckle so I just decided to stick little pieces of watercolor paper in there in case some random inspiration hits me and I decide to do some watercolor. This page is not too cute right now. Um, well, these two pages. This is my gratitude log. And believe me when I tell you, every day I'm thankful for a whole bunch of things and I tend to put those in my morning pages when I do my three morning pages but I need to do a better more consistent job of including them in here and this little foolishness right here <laughs> I got this from DJ Khaled it's like major key and right here I wanted to put like you know what are the most important things that kind of stuck out to me for uh, this particular month what stuck out to me for January what I thought were the major keys <laughs> for January so Thank you, DJ Khaled, for that one. And this list right here, or these lists, are something that is very important to me. I've been doing them for quite a few years now. And these are my be, do, and have lists. And what this basically means, let me give you a little bit of backstory to it. I don't remember the first time I came across it. I think it was probably maybe like 2005, 2006 when I read uh, Conversations with God and I went to a workshop that the author of the book had done and he explained this whole concept of people kind of feel that they need to have certain things in order to accomplish things in order to be a certain kind of person but that thinking is kind of backwards. You have to be the kind of person that has those things all right and i know i'm not explaining it clearly but you work on the b before you can have all the things that you want to have so you know you work from on it in terms of you know what are you know what are the ways that i want to be in this world who is the kind of person that I want to be? And for me, that means things like, you know, being happy, being helpful, being healthy, sorry, being peaceful, free, loved, loving, helpful, all that good stuff. What are the things that I want to do? And then what are the things that I want to have? And if you notice, my have section is blank. I always get stuck on this for on this because I'm trying to think of like, you know, the material things that I would like to have. But if you focus on the be part of it, the kind of person that you want to be, the kind of life that you want to have, the experiences that you want to have, then this stuff will eventually fall into place. But you focus on the inside stuff first, right? And then at the bottom, I kind of, you know, this is just my little addition onto this. All right, if I want to be these things, what are some steps I need to make? What are some things I need to work on? If I want to do these things in this year, what do I need to work on? And if I want to have like, you know, these material things, what do I need to work on here? 
and then on my art musings page these are the creative ideas that I think I want to work on because my whole objective for this year is to really work on building a cohesive body of artwork and I want to do a different collection for every quarter so every time the ideas come to me I kind of throw them here and then I also put a little piece of watercolor paper here as well I am working on the artist's way and with a group of people. I have an online course that's set up and if you're interested, I'll put the link in the description box below. If you are a creative person, if you've been involved in art or if you have any inkling towards it, at some point in time, you'll probably hear about Julia Cameron's book, The Artist's Way. And what I basically did was break down the course online so people knew exactly what do I need to read on what day, what do I need to work on this week. Just basically a very cohesive step-by-step -step way to work yourself through the 12 weeks in the artist way and I have a little checklist here and basically you know the days start with Sunday are reviewing the tasks and then these are the different sections in the book that need to be read on a daily basis since it's January, I just have week one here and I love the bullet journal because instead of throwing the whole 12 weeks, I just have what I need to focus on in January as far as the artist way is concerned and what I need to read. And then I also have the page numbers included as well. And in the green, these are just the days that I have to work on these things and read these things. This section here, I like to take a lot of notes when I'm reading in the margins as well as just in a separate journal and I'm working on this book called The Creativity Book by Eric Meisel and it has these different exercises and it's broken down according to weeks and this is just how I broke the book down so you know depending on which book I'm reading I'm going to have a section where I keep notes related to that particular book. I'm reading the creativity book and I left these pages blank because I want to include some general insights that I got when I finished reading the book. This section here is for another book that I'm reading called Art and Soul and I've left these sections blank because I want to make notes on the various chapters but these are the different exercises and activities to work on. <coughs> excuse me. So when I finish reading these chapters, I'll make sure to include these notes. And I've already read the first three chapters of the book. So I just basically need to consolidate notes from the margins of the book and include them here. All right. This is the meat of the matter now. This is, or this was the first week in January. And you set up your system however you want to. I did all of these, you know, in the same size in advance because I started working on the bullet journal way after the month had started. So I said, you know what? I had to kind of go back and, you know, try to remember the stuff that I had done. And I threw some quotes in there. Anybody who knows me knows that I'm really big into quotes. And then I also put a section at the end called next week. So things I need to work on next week. So at the end of the week, I just basically review the schedule. And if there are things that I didn't get accomplished, I put them down for next week and make sure to include them somewhere in the following week. And the beauty of the bullet journal is it's a planner system that you're building as you go along. So you're you're not limited to the typical planner where it's like, okay, this is your set day, month, year, and you have to work with the system that's already in place. The bullet journal is your personal analog journal and your planner to build as you go along. So that's the beauty in it. And I know mine is not as fancy as a lot of people with all this decoration, but it's mine. And, you know, you want to make a planner your own. I've also included places to visit as well. These are all the places I want to check out this year. And these are my major purchases. So I have them in terms of quarters, first quarter, second quarter, third and fourth, and already made some major purchases and it's only January, so let me not embarrass myself. And that's that page. This is this week, actually. So these, this, these are the things that happened yesterday. Yesterday was Martin Luther King's holiday. And then if you notice, the sections are bigger than what I have here. 
and some people don't do this in advance but i needed to do it to kind of see how the week was going to run and i figure as time passes if i have more things going on on monday then monday is going to be a little bit bigger if i have more things on friday then friday is going to be a little bit bigger but again the beauty of it is you build it as you go along so if you need more space for different days then you go ahead and create that for yourself and i just included tabs for the new week so i would know how to flip to it quickly art of creative living has been my pet project since last year so i included a page for the goals you know what do i hope to accomplish with the website and the podcast and youtube that's what I want to put right here and I also stuck a little piece of watercolor paper here for some wet media this is a tracker and I got this idea from boho berry I didn't start the tracker until this morning because all the previous days before were a wash because remember I told you I started the bullet journal kind of late so I said let me just give myself some time to get acclimated so I have from the 19th to the 31st but when you do the tracker what you want to do is put all the days of the month here so you'd start at one and run all the way to the end of the month and then you put the things that you want to track on a daily basis so for me the first thing I do in the morning is drink my water and you know take my doctor or heroes probiotics I want to make sure I keep track of this and at the end of the month you can kind of look over it and say this is where I'm falling off this is where I'm slacking off this part of the month I'm not too kosher hopefully you know I can get to the end of the month and be like hmm I did a pretty good job so I have things in here like you know morning pages meditate physical activity cooking greens creative practice reading and any kind of classes I'm working on on that particular day again it's yours whatever it is that you want to personally track in your own life that's what you go ahead and put here and then I also have a page with course ideas these are the things that I'm thinking about in terms of workshops and classes that I would like to teach this year and if you notice the rest of it is blank it is your planner to build as you go along again like I said all you need is a journal and a pen and you know if you want to get fancy you can throw some colored stuff in there as well I hope that it was helpful for you there is a lot of information on bullet journals below I'll put a link to the original Ryder Carroll bullet journal site and if you're when I think of like like my son right my son is like you know such a dude he would not be doing all this little extra fancy stuff inside here that's like so not his thing if you look at Ryder Carl's video you'll see it's just this very plain way that he does it which is perfectly acceptable and I'm kind of in the middle I'm I can't do it as fancy as some of the people I say doing it on YouTube meaning I'm perfectly capable of that I just don't have the time and then you know on the very lean Ryder Carl side I would just want mine to be a little bit more fancy than that so I'm kind of somewhere in the middle you know striking a balance in between um, those two extremes but I think any way you approach the system is really beautiful because at the end of the day it's yours you're not limited to what's in the typical standard planner you put all your stuff in here and again there's this huge community of bullet journal people online this journal is one that I got from Michaels and I covered it myself I showed you guys how to cover you know you might have a journal and you don't like the cover I showed you how to cover it in the last video so that is pretty much it for the bullet journal if you have any questions at all definitely um, send me a message in the comments below and as always thank you so much much for your time and your energy and your presence I really appreciate every single one of you especially if you took the time to you know sit down and watch this because you have so many other things to do I'm sure so I just wanted to express again my appreciation as always and if you like the video give it a thumbs up if you think a friend might be interested then definitely make sure to share and I will see you guys soon all right peace